watched videos from the speed app i used to see all the videos and the slides the neonatology videos were amazing and they like did clear my concepts a lot so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute and the team of speed to dr uh, tanushri ahawal for scoring rank number 74 uh, in dm pediatric group for neat ss session 2024 congratulations to you Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Great. And can we know a brief background history uh, from where you started till date? What you have done? Sure, sir. Uh, sir, I am from uh, like I completed my MBBS from NSCB Medical College, Jabalpur, and then uh, post graduation also I've done from NSCB Medical College, Jabalpur, that is in Madhya Pradesh, and I completed my MD in two thousand and twenty-two. After that, one year of SR ship I've done from the same institute. So in twenty three, I did appear for the exam, but I did not score a good rank, and uh, so then I appeared for twenty four NEET SS, and uh, yeah, finally I'm here. Very good, doctor. Great. See, thank you, sir. Great accomplishment, and can we know uh, what in DM you are planning to do in pediatrics after pediatrics superficiality? Okay, sir. Like to be very honest, since like I'm coming from a peripheral college, so. Honestly, we did not get that much of exposure in like other branches except for neonatology. So, like, uh, I will have to do some research. Although personally, I do have an interest in pediatric cardiology, or then maybe neonatology. Okay, so you have decided to go on with a superficiality post DM, or I mean post MD of pediatrics for DM. Now, how did you start? Where did you start? Can you share some of your experiences? How did you prepare? Preparation strategies. of course sir. so i would say personally for me it has been a long journey in 2022 i appeared for neat ss for the first time and my rank was 580 i was getting pediatric cardiology drnb ss but it was like i was not satisfied with the institute so i decided that i will take another year and continue with my sr ship and again prepare for the exam but that time unfortunately like uh, because of certain circumstances my rank even shifted further okay so Uh, in 23 my rank was 980 so then after that i started appearing for ini ss neonatology and of course with uh, like of course i watched videos uh, from the speed uh, app and like dr neeraj mishra sir has been amazing the way he has taught has been very helpful and uh, so it did help me and i scored a rank of uh, 24 but still i couldn't get a seat because there were only nine seats then finally i continued to prepare for neat ss because the dates were not out so we did not actually have something to hold on to but then finally once the dates were out i continued to prepare for neat ss i was not working anywhere in the last 3 4 months i was just sitting at home studying and i followed nelson thoroughly uh during my residency i used to make notes from nelson so i went through those notes also and then of course uh, the coaching that i had joined i used to see all the videos and the slides but primarily my focus was on nelson the textbook and uh, even the little topics that we usually tend to leave like skin and ent ophthalmology um i did try to read them through nelson and all the images from nelson i did try to do that nelson was like the bible great very good doctor very comprehensive and can you can we know how many questions did you get in this exam so 138 very good now what will be your advice for the future aspirants of uh, dm superficial different pediatric background okay so like personally i would just like to suggest that uh, nelson should be the bible if you are particularly targeting neat neat ss then uh, nelson should be the bible you should go through as much as possible you should try to read uh, read every topic from nelson even the minor topics that we tend to leave they also do carry some weightage and these are the these are the topics which ultimately decide the rank because the common topics i think everybody would be able to answer them so like those topics are important particularly ent ophthalmology and skin these are the two topics jo maine dekha in the last few uh, like in the last two attempts like they have given more weightage on particularly ophthalmology image based questions were there and direct questions so like those are also very scoring so yeah like you have to follow nelson and of course like uh, coachings whatever you are taking i personally feel that they definitely provide you with an extra edge because sometimes whenever we are reading through the text we might tend to skip certain text thinking that it might not be important from an exam perspective but i think uh, coaching institutes they do guide you 
and they tell you that this is a potential mcq or yeah, this has been asked in the past and so that is why we tend to uh, put more focus over those topics which like on, on a daily basis we might tend to leave okay yeah. very good doctor now can we uh, time to thank and whom all you want to thank that have helped you in your career to build your career so far you can use this platform to do so okay sir uh, firstly i need to thank god almighty uh, i need to thank my mother she was a constant support she always had my back uh my family my friends my mentors everybody and of course like uh the coachings that i have joined of course they did give me an extra edge because somehow i knew that uh, i might be able to clear the exam but to get a particular rank so that you can choose the branch of your own choice and the institute of your own choice it requires some extra edge so of course like particularly for from speed like the neonatology videos were amazing and they like did clear my concepts a lot and uh, yes great doctor now i mean i could advise that I mean if you can give this exam of may hope you have applied for it yes sir i am yes, still sir. planning to give for uh, like give i and i ss because you were very last time you were very close actually so i think this yes, time sir. you might hate it okay sir okay kindly go ahead ji sir ji sir so i feel the chances are very big and uh, you were you were almost there and because of some reasons probably you know better ji those areas you fill it up and fill the plugs plug the gaps and once you do that then you you'll be in within what top 9 top 5 you can be in okay sir that's a that's a huge thing for me thank you thank you sir so don't leave it here okay sir just not even a month now Yes, sir. I needed somebody to tell me that to push me because most people around me are saying, "Okay, now you've got a good rank in NEET SS, so I and I, so it's fine, it's fine." But like, I needed someone to tell me that. Good rank, but you are more than this rank. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes, so, sir. That should not let go. Okay, sir. You you are an exact material for any SS. Okay, okay, sir. You Thank are, you. It's a huge compliment. Thank you. You are not a material for a, a need. That's the okay, reason why sir. there was a fluctuation of rank which came. Okay. And you last before that you had a rank, then you jumped to nine hundred plus. Yes, then sir. You came back to seventy four. Is not because of the knowledge of need. Is because of the knowledge that you prepared for NSS. Okay, sir. So. and but what neat ss judges is in a, when in a broad perspective in a in a factual concept not a conceptual perspective sir it's a broad factual perspective okay. now you have applied all that and whatever the maximum from general pediatrics and to your specialty what you have learned that you are given the best to score from 900 to 74 now actually you are very good in in for the ss senior ss exam that's the reason why you got last time 21 now from there you give one attempt right now from here on because there is no stress on you already you have seat yes But sir nothing going to bother you you just need to go happily and do it yes so sir so that there will be minimal stress that stress will help you touch you more previously okay. there was nothing in your hand now it is not that way yes sir so your performance will be better than last time okay sir so you definitely have to kind of just give the exam nothing else just casually happily give the exam just see where all last time you have gone where that has pulled you down for going there that alone precisely that area alone you precisely go on address it and just keep there and just go on let us see okay sir see don't worry about one month six months one year mm-hmm. worry about a productive life of 30 years 40 years from now Yes, sir. What, what difference it can make if I am there in an institute, if I am there not in an institute? True, sir. So once that kind of a thought process comes in, yes, sir. Then that will become easy. So you'll not mean these things will not matter much. Yes, sir. So I think you are already in, and you can be better than this uh, in in what you want. Yes, sir. That is my opinion, and I will leave it to you yes, completely. <laughs> I, that's, my, that's my opinion. I wanted. I, I I felt like telling you. 
Yes, sir. I wanted somebody to tell me to push me at least for the I and I. So you have applied, right? Sixth May yes, is the last date. Sixth May is the last date. Yes, sir. You have applied? Yes, sir. Okay, because yesterday I had an interview with one student, and okay. uh, I pushed him. He has not applied actually, but he is getting a rank. But actually, he is a person for an NESS because okay. and he got a good rank. He missed narrow, but he said, "Okay, fine. Now I am settled with need." Okay. Then yesterday I made him to apply in apply apply and asked him to send a screenshot to me, and he sent. And and he and he sent a screenshot after that, sir. I have applied, sir. I am working. Sir, even I haven't applied as of yet. I will be applying. Like I had the plan already to apply, but I haven't filled the form yet. That's what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I got that wrong. I'm sorry. No, no, I haven't filled the form yet. So, yeah, but I I will definitely apply. So yesterday I told him, you will apply, and after the interview is over, immediately the next thing you will do is you apply, and you will you send a screenshot to me. I told him that. Okay, sir. Okay. And I should tell you as well. Okay, sir. Okay. What happens now? The minute you apply, after that, from that point of time, you your brain automatically goes to that. Yes, sir. Only if you don't apply, you don't apply. Once yes, you sir. apply, and you're for it. Yes, sir. It's nothing wrong. It is nothing wrong. Kindly apply. true so like i would just like to share whenever i used to feel low there used to be times and uh, then you know like i would just open the speed app and i used to watch your videos like and we used to get like updates on whatsapp also that sir is always ready to motivate even if you have failed uh, the need ss did not go well it's okay now you have these many days and you have like 15 days ka preparation the 20 days ka preparation you always have a plan you always keep us motivated i think that is what any student requires motivation yeah i'll tell you one thing Yes, today, sir. Today morning, there was a student. He said, "Sir, last time I want to do MCH urology, I got last time thousand four hundred. I couldn't get it. This time, I got thousand seven hundred." Okay. And she was almost crying. I said, "This is not a quality of a surgeon itself. This is we are talking about an MCH. This is not a quality of a surgeon itself. What are you doing? You are not born for this." Yes, sir. You don't do all this. Go and prepare for the next exam. There's no use of all this. Yes, sir. You stop all this. <laughs> you will prepare, and yes. you'll go ahead. See, you should understand this. If something is not coming in your way, something is better is waiting for you. Yes, if, sir. If you can't understand that, then we keep on moving here and around. But because why am I telling you is because I mean I could have said okay, thank you. I mean all the best, best wishes, keep going. Yes, sir. I'm I I couldn't say that. Okay. I don't do interviews superficially. I never do that. Okay, sir. I watch to each and every aspect of a student and they what they are up to, and I am just seeing whether you have settled a property also. Okay, sir. <laughs> so there's there's a point which I try to make. This is a this is a process which I follow. I mean, yeah. uh, and uh, so I couldn't do that. I couldn't say that heartfully. Uh, to go ahead with the need and all that, but of course it can happen. Let us see one more exam. We can. I mean, I strongly feel that. Let that happen. You give heartfully and fully. Okay, sir, I have done it. Then okay, fine. I'm going for this. That's okay, sir. And you're almost there. And I, I mean, I want to see you. In. <laughs> yes, sir. So I mean, I feel. I feel so. I mean, I don't know how do you feel, but I feel that way. That's a huge compliment, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, um, so you better. <laughs> I will, sir. After after the interview, whether you like it or not, at least. For me, uh, you could uh, send a screenshot of your application. Okay, sir. Immediately after the interview, I'm talking about. Okay, sir. And if you could send, I mean, I, I'm a coordinator will give my number to you. If okay. if you don't have my number, he will okay. share the number okay, and send it to me. Send it to me. Okay, sir. And I hopefully I'll have an interview with you after in ESS. That would be the best, sir. <laughs> I have met so many people that way. I have met a person for four times in an interview. Okay. He has, all all four times he has stopped exam, but the fourth interview was he settled. His his name is Doctor Grish. I'll tell you the name also. He's a plastic surgeon. Okay. He he got in all India. He got first time in one institute. He didn't join. Second time in one institute. He didn't join. Then he got an institute somewhere else. He didn't join. Third time, all top. Not small ranks. Big ranks. Okay, sir. 
then you, every, every time when he comes to an interview you ask me sir after this was i'm planning to leave <laughs> <laughs> i'm planning to leave this you know what's your opinion on it? you'll ask me this way and uh, i used to tell him uh, but good ranks i mean they are good not it's not small ranks good ranks i said okay i'll tell him only one thing so if you're not happy there's no point we are not happy there's no point keep moving okay. let's see and yeah. finally i said and and that interview the fourth interview which is all available on youtube you can see it's a plastic surgeon all available even now in speed learning it's available if you can if you can see after this you see i said i said is there any, any other interview balance after this interview after the last the third or the fourth one no sir i said this is the final interview sir and then, okay and understand you have become the faculty in speed as well today Okay, that's a huge thing. Ah, yes, yes, taking classes, and yes, already finished good number of classes for plastic surgery. Okay, that's a huge thing. Okay. Yes, sir. So, okay, then best wishes to you, and uh, wish you, and you, so far so good, and uh, you have gone through a lot of process, and you have gone through your journey was, and uh, so persistent, consistent, and going. Uh, need assess in ess need assess and in ess and uh, and let us see I mean one more month and uh, let us see where we are up to and i i feel hopefully you will be definitely the place uh, the place is deserving for you thank you so much sir thank you okay, okay then thank you bye bye all the best thank you sir thank you